4.6 billion years ago, in the swirling disk of debris left over from the formation of our newborn sun, gas and dust particles began to clump together. They eventually formed large boulders made of rock and ice that we see today as asteroids and comets. For millions of years, these bodies collided and coalesced to form planets. During this birthing process, Earth acquired some special properties. One unique feature on Earth is abundant liquid water. It is thought that the earliest volcanoes spewed out massive amounts of steam which condensed into rain and supplied the planet with water. But recently, new sources of water have been suggested. Some of the water might have come from comets, or some of the water might have come from an outer belt of asteroids that was rich in water. In other words, some of the water could have come from the rocks that made the Earth near the end of this era of heavy bombardment. And water appears to be a key component for the origin of life. It was previously theorized that life began in a primordial soup, a warm pond containing energy and atmospheric elements to make amino acids. However, the most recent pioneering research makes a strong claim that the Earth's own chemical energy and rich proteins seeped up through hydrothermal vents deep under the ocean. Over time, this mixture jump-started life by producing living cells. We know that liquid water is essential to life, and life probably got started in a water environment, whether it's in the deep ocean, at the volcanic vents, or in a shallow pond. We don't really know where and how precisely life got started here, but it did, and it's the only planet that we know where life actually exists. Regardless of how life started, a fortunate event made it possible for complex creatures to evolve. About three billion years ago, ancient underwater bacteria began to use water, carbon dioxide, and the sun's energy to produce carbohydrates in order to survive. This process, called photosynthesis, injected vast amounts of oxygen into seawater and eventually our atmosphere. A huge step happened in evolution when the Earth got polluted with oxygen. We didn't start with a rich oxygen atmosphere, but later uh, the oxygen atmosphere that developed on Earth, basically from photosynthesis, allowed life to get a lot more complex. After a few billion years of planetary and biological evolution, the first plants and animals emerged from water onto land. It's estimated that modern humans came onto the scene a mere 200,000 years ago. And with our evolution came the technological revolution of the planet. From ancient man-made monuments to bustling metropolitan cities, human beings changed the way Earth looks on the ground and from space.